every developer who wants to start a business, but you don't know where to start. Web3 still have tons of opportunities, but you have to know where to look. So in this video, I will tell you about seven business ideas that are still profitable in Web3 in 2023. If you're new here, I'm Julian and on the blogs, I help you to become a Web3 developer so that you can make more money, get more freedom and work on projects that you love. And if you want to get a full roadmap about what you need to learn to become a Web3 developer, check out my free masterclass. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's start with bad business ideas in Web3 in 2023. So basically everything which has a token in it, like an ICO where you want to sell a token to other people and make a lot of money. This is so 2017. In 2023, we have a lot of regulation. So if you do this, you have a decent chance of going to jail. And the demand for that is really low. Another possibility is to create a DeFi protocol and to airdrop the token for free to user. And if you already pre-mined some token for yourself, you could resell these tokens in the future, but it can still be considered borderline. And I really don't think it's a good time for that. So all these ideas that were valid in the past, for now, you can just forget about them. So next, we're going to talk of good business ideas. So good business ideas that is quite simple once you have some basic Web3 skill is to do Web3 consulting. So basically, you sell your skill as a Web3 developer to company who needs your Web3 skill. And there are many different kind of company that needs this. But in general, if you're getting started in your Web3 consulting business, it's much easier to go after small customer, small project. And to find your first customer, you can go on the typical freelancer website like Upwork or freelancer.com. But on the long term, the best is to have a mechanism so that customer comes directly to you automatically so that you don't need to find new customer every time. And one of the best way to do this is to create your own audience. So either a YouTube channel or you're active on Twitter or you have a blog. There are many different ways to do it. What I really like about Web3 Consulting is that it's really easy to get started and contrary to being an employee, sky's the limit. If you're getting better and better at this, you can keep increasing your rate and at some point you can make more than what you would make as an employee. And with time, you're going to find niches in the Web3 industry that are even more specific. For example, right now, one of the best niche for Web3 Consulting is to do smart contract auditing. The space is exploding at the moment. And it has become possible to do a lot of solo audit, which is perfect for one person Web3 consulting company. And if you want to find your first auditing gig, you can check out a couple of websites that do security contests for smart contract. So you can do this as a one person business. And if you are successful at this, you will get more and more customer. And like for Web3 consulting, you will also be able to expand and create your own auditing firm. And you can really make a lot of money with this because smart contract audit costs a lot of money. The downside of it is that it really requires a big investment on your part because this is quite technical. So you have to be willing to invest a lot of time to learn all these things. So you need so you need to be willing to invest a lot of time to learn about smart contract security. Another possibility is to build a dashboard for crypto and you can target specific protocol, for example, a dashboard about Uniswap or a dashboard about Compound, or you can target NFT protocol, a dashboard about OpenSea. And so the idea is to give insight on what's going on in this protocol. Or it can be a dashboard that is a little bit more general and that gives you general on-chain information. For example, L2Bit. For example, L2Bit gives you information about the different layer 2 blockchain. And typically, the way you would monetize such a dashboard will be with ads. With this dashboard, you're going to have a lot of traffic and you will have advertisers who will be interested to buy this traffic. You could also be an affiliate. For example, that's what CoinMarketCap does. They have a lot of affiliate links to different exchanges. So I really like this kind of business model. However, the downside is that it's going to take you some time to build this traffic because SEO is something that takes time. So for the first six months to one year, you will probably not make any money. But long term, I think it's worth it. Another possibility is to do a wallet. So you can do a wallet that is specialized for a specific use case, for example, a wallet for DeFi or a wallet for NFT. And the idea is that you will help user to visualize the asset in a very user friendly way because you will target some very specific assets. So these assets are already handled by famous wallets like MetaMask, but many that are handled in a very generic way. And you can do something more specific that is more helpful. 
You can also have some button to activate some specific functionality of DeFi protocols. So that means that user can use these DeFi and NFT protocol directly from your wallet, which make it very convenient. And another possibility is to do a wallet for in-game assets for blockchain games. So you have a lot of blockchain games that are popular and in these games, users tend to have all sorts of assets that are represented by NFTs. So you could start by doing a wallet that target a specific game that is super popular and after you add support for other games. And there are different ways you can monetize wallets. One way would be to monetize your traffic because you're gonna have a lot of users. So like for dashboard, you can advertise some services in your wallet. And another way would be to take a small percentage of each transaction. And because you would have a large volume, this small percentage will end up being a pretty decent amount. So doing wallet can be very powerful. However, that is even more ambitious than doing a dashboard and that will take probably even more time. So if you want something quick and easy, I wouldn't recommend to do wallet. Another possibility is to build a blockchain API. So the idea is to make it easier for Web2 developer to get into Web3. A lot of developers want to build apps on Web3, but they don't want to bother to learn all the details. So if they can have an easy to use API, everything is way more simple for them. So there are already some big established projects in the space like Alchemy, Infura, Morales, but it's still possible to compete if you build something very specific that doesn't exist yet on this big project. For example, it could be an API just for DeFi protocol or just for NFT protocol. It can also be something more about the user experience, for example, an API for gasless transactions. There are many possibilities and the best way to figure out these possibilities is to start to learn and build Web3 application yourself because you will run into some issue and it will be way easier to figure out which feature to put in your blockchain API to solve all this friction. And typically with a blockchain API, it will be a freemium model where there is a free tier for a limited usage. And after that, you are charged with a subscription. Another possibility is to do no code tools for Web3. So the idea is to make it easy for end user to build Web3 applications. For example, you could do a token minter. So a token minter is a web application that allows end user to mint tokens on the blockchain. So they just need to do a few click and boom, a new token is deployed. And to monetize this, you will charge per use. So for example, if you want to mint one token, you will pay a few hundred dollars. And I've actually done this myself for it the blocks and I made some money like this. Another possibility is to do an NFT minter. So you would do an app that allows anyone to mint a collection of NFT. And another thing you can do is leverage AI for these no-code tools. So if you do an NFT minter, actually, you can do something even more ambitious and generate the collection itself by using AI. So a user would specify some parameters for what this NFT collection is about. Then your AI generate the whole collection, then the user click and it's deployed. Super simple. And lastly, you could do AI to do code generation. So in this case, we're not talking of no code, but we're talking of low code because there's still some code, but there is a tool that assists you to generate it. So the user could specify with words what kind of smart contract they want and with AI, you generate some code. Another possibility is to get into crypto payments. And it's especially relevant for e-commerce where more and more users want to use crypto for payments. To be more specific, you could do a WordPress plugin to accept crypto and you will charge a fixed fee for each plugin that is sold. It's also possible to do the same thing as a Shopify app. And if you add some more feature, you can even charge with a subscription. For example, if you provide some analytics, but it's only for people who take the subscription. There is one little caveat if you want to do crypto payment is you have to make sure that you respect all the law because once you get into payment, you don't want to be considered yourself as a payment processor because otherwise there are a ton of regulation, but you do have some research to do on that. All right, so these were seven business ideas that you can try now in 2023. And if you want to find even more business ideas, what you can do is you can take some existing use case in Web2 and think how you can transfer them to Web3. But there is another way to find even more business ideas. And I think it's even more powerful is instead of starting from Web2 and going to Web3, you start with Web3 and you try to figure out which new use case it enables. And in my view, it's like this that you will find the best business ideas for Web3.
But no matter which business ID you choose, first you need to know Web3 development. And in order to do that, check out my free masterclass where I will give you a full roadmap of everything that you need to learn in order to become a Web3 developer. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.